with us this morning, a special edition of Local Memphis Live. Oh my goodness, after 23 years of being away from Memphis, he's back home. Welcome the Reverend Alvin McKinney, Dr. Alvin <laughs> McKinney. Good morning, God bless too. you, and God thank you for having me. You, I'm my honored friend. To be here. <laughs> wow, and you know this was this was really, I mean, just I, I don't want to say a walk in the park because I don't want to diminish <laughs> the weather situation. But you spent some time. Well, you've spent some time all over the country, but you were yeah. in Michigan for a while. Yes. So, you know, but you get you get it because you grew up here. Listen, from what I recall, Memphis two inches of snow and the, and the whole city shuts down. The whole city, my but friend. up north. <laughs> this is a joke. They, they, they keep, kick it to the side keep on rolling. Yes, and they <laughs> keep on rolling. And I tell you what, how fortunate can Memphis be to be able to welcome you back to the Bluff City, my friend? I have to tell you, it's been a warm welcome. Wow. Even people don't, that don't know me, I just, I've been living, living in Los Angeles the past 23 years. I just moved back so I can be closer to my parents. Right. They're both in the 80s. They live in the Fox Meadows area. By the way, right. love you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> love you, Mom and Dad, too. Amen. We love you, too, at Local Memphis Live. Oh, yeah. I love and it. A shout out, and a yeah. shout-out to my wife, Reverend Dr. Liz McKinnon. She's actually in Los Angeles on business right now. She's a reverend, too? Yes, we're, we're both actually co-pastors of Redeemer Church of Christ, Power of God Ministries. It's a, it's a prophetic ministry. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you, you do <laughs> we'll everything. That's favorite. amazing. And and speaking of that, uh, yes. you're an excellent uh, saxophonist. God bless you. Thank and you. absolutely uh, performed with some unbelievable names. And you also have a ministry, like we just said, mm -hmm. you're, you are very passionate about helping to provide instruments. Yes. For people. Tell me about that. Sure. That is the Alvin and Elizabeth McKinney Foundation. Wow. Uh, to make a long story short, I really enjoy... Uh, giving musical instruments and musical accessories to children who cannot afford one for wow, free. Wow. And so I've been blessed to have a lot of endorsements. Uh, if I can mention them just very of quickly. Uh, uh, Julius College Saxophones, distributed by the Buffet Group, Crampon, in U USA, in uh, wow. Jacksonville, Florida. Wow. Also, Beachley Mouthpieces, Legere Reeds, Audio Technica Microphones, wow. Core Keyboards, and, and my latest one, as of three weeks ago, uh, Rovner Products. That's amazing. And so I've through those companies, but also other companies that are like major distributors. Wow. I have access to any instrument. Any instrument? Yes, ma'am. All the brass, all the woodwinds, all the percussion. And and these are not, strings. I mean, instruments are not cheap, no. Dr. McKinney. No, no. So what led you and your wife to um, want to do this? Well, I was actually doing the same thing uh, even when I was teaching with the Los Angeles University School District for, four, for 14 years. Yeah. Uh, a quick short testimony. Uh, one of my boys, his mother passed away, and he wanted, he was a phenomenal trumpet player in sixth grade, named right. Javier. He wanted to buy his trumpet, and I heard about it, the students were telling me he was trying to raise the money. His dad right. didn't have the money. So I went to my company, uh, uh, at the time they were called the music group, but now Buffet Crampon, okay. and they gave me a trumpet. So I presented it to him in the classroom, and the girls started crying. It was just a big, oh it, it was just wonderful. It wow. changed his life. I did the same thing for another student. I was going to give it to him at the end of, of, a, of a spring concert. Wow. And, and, but I saw something was different. And this, this boy actually made the, uh, one of the honor programs, the LAUSD, uh, LAUSD Honors Music Middle School pro, uh, Program. Wow. And, but something wow. was wrong with this. And I, and I was, the whole system says, give, to, give him the trumpet now. And whatever it was, I stopped the program. I presented the trumpet. And whatever it was, it broke. I saw it. And to this day, whenever he sees me, you can just see the, the, the stars in his eyes. You saw it on his face. Yes. Because you gave back, someone else's life changed. Yes. And what so that, that, that's, the power, story. that's the powerful, not only of music, but just the power of giving. Boy, isn't it? Boy, and so, isn't so it? So if there's anyone yes. who's willing to donate, yeah. uh, we need desperate finances. As a matter of fact, I'm actually yeah. partnering right now with Pastor Russell Morrow at a okay. church on, La on Lauderdale okay. uh, to do the same thing. Uh, he's, he's, he's already started, and we've had some wonderful conversations. Wow. I've been by the church and met some of the students there. And so hopefully by God's grace in February, we can kick that off. That is amazing. In fact, um, I think we've got your website up if yes. people want to get in touch with you um, because this is, you know, this is what our show is, is really yes. all about. And, yes. and um, I often say it, it truly is so much better to give than it is receive. I know that sounds cliche, mm -hmm. but I mean that from the bottom of my heart because when you do that, um, you are just changing someone's life in so many cases. Oh, yeah. And here's the thing that people don't understand about music. Music is the only subject being taught in public education that tests every area of the brain all at the same time. Tell me that, because we need to say that probably a million <laughs> times, because I'm a huge advocate of the arts. Yes. And sometimes, um, unfortunately, when we start talking about the budget and slicing and dicing, yes. the arts works its way in there. And I'm like, please, no, 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 no. You need the arts. My wife will tell you that she doesn't know anyone who plays an instrument that was not successful in life. 
because wow. it, it encourages creativity. Yes. Which is why a lot of times the, the powers that be want to cut it out. They want to dumb wow. down the kids. No, we want mm -hmm. to uplift the kids. Yeah. When you uplift the children, you uplift the nation. Yeah. You uplift the nation, then you uplift the world. And then, so like when I go That's somewhere, beautiful. wherever I go in the world, all yeah. of these gifts come with me. Wow. Put down the, the <laughs> social media and the, the devices and pick up an instrument, huh? There you go. I tell you what, Reverend and Alvin it's McKinney, a lot of fun. you <laughs> are amazing. You're going to pick up your instrument a little later, aren't yes, you? I'll be on it. I'm ready. I cannot <laughs> wait. You are just a joy and a blessing. He is fabulous. There he is, the Prime Minister of Joyful Jazz. We're going to hear his incredible music, and trust me when I tell you, it will inspire and encourage you on this winter wonderland the special edition of local Memphis live continues